Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily. And we are here to keep things simple and fun. Have you ever been to a senior session and just completely froze up because you're running out of ideas on how to pose them? You feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again? Well, we're here to share some of our go-to poses with you so you have some new ideas and feel more confident going into your next senior session. And just so you know, we do have a free download for you in the descriptions in the description below uh, with more posing ideas and a planning sheet. So make sure to look at that. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. All right, one of the first poses that we do is, and a lot of times we like to do this if they have a nice thick sweater on is they'll grab their sweater or if they don't have a sweater on, it's fine, but they're gonna cuddle up their arms nice and close, kind of like they're cold, and they're gonna raise their shoulders up a little bit. But the first thing that we worry about is their feet usually. So we have them put their feet together and pop their front knee or cross an ankle behind. And then they're gonna do this, act like they're kind of cold, bring it up close to their face, and they're gonna lean forward. We might then have them look off camera or look down their shoulder or let out a little giggle. We call this next pose the elbow grab. So the feet are in the same position, we pop our front knee. Typically we have the girls flip all of their hair to the back and then we have them grab their elbows. It's the elbow grab. They grab both of their elbows like this and then they lean forward, kind of let their hair fall. Again, we might have them look here, giggle off the camera. Maybe they'll look a little bit more serious at us or smile down their shoulder. We love to do walking poses. So one of the things that we always tell our girls when they're walking is that they're gonna slowly cross over like this and they're gonna walk pretty slow, not much faster than I am right now. So then if they have a dress on, a lot of times we'll have them grab the outside layer of their dress and they'll kind of swish it as they walk like this. Maybe they'll be looking off camera, maybe they'll look down. Sometimes we do a tightrope walk where they're putting their arms a little further out, acting like they're walking on a tightrope, maybe running their fingers through some weeds that they're walking through if they're walking through a field. Um, if they have some sort of jacket on, we might have them grab the side of their jacket and walk this way. Playing with their hair potentially is another way to have them look a little bit different. Leaning a little bit forward toward us and letting out a giggle. Those are different walking ideas. The next pose we like to do is you are straight onto the camera, you cross an ankle back like so, and then we have you grab your forearm or upper arm, whichever looks best on the model. Maybe tilt their head, laugh off camera, all those variations. This next pose is actually sitting down, and a lot of times we don't have a chair along with us or the client doesn't have a chair or anything, so we just use a step stool. So in this case, I'm just gonna use this stool here. We have them sit down, and then we always let them know it's probably not gonna be in the camera unless it's a cute one, okay? Um, so they're gonna cross their legs just like they would if they were sitting on a chair or at a table, and they are going to bring their arm up one or the other arms and they're going to typically they have their nails done nice so they're going to just curl their fingers next to their cheek here and maybe grab their elbow here or maybe grab down here or even extend the arm out this way and again look away look down smile off the camera giggle whatever it might be Not only do we have our models walk towards us, but we also have them walk away from us. So one thing that we like to do is we just say, all right, we'll tell you when to turn. So they start walking, walking, we tell them when to turn, and then they turn like this. They grab their hair on this side and just kind of bring it back. So it just gives a little bit more of a candid look like they're peeking right back at you. Another standing pose idea would be if they have pockets in the back of their pants is to have them put their hands in their back pockets, cross their legs like this, and then we always just have them lean a little bit forward. All right, so if you have a wall to work with, sometimes that's nice because it just gives you a little bit more variation. So we always like to have them lean their shoulder up against the wall, and then we have them either maybe bring their arm up like this and cross over so we're not cropping off half of their arm in the photo. They could be putting it in their back pocket. Sometimes we have them bring their arm up here and hang it over their shoulder. 
when there is ever a set of stairs, which I don't have here, but we'll pretend that this is stairs, our go-to pose is we have them knock the knees together. Sometimes they extend a leg out, but most of the time they're knocking their two knees together. They're crossing their arms over their knees and kind of hunching over a little bit. All right, so for sitting poses, a lot of times we like to put one leg under, tuck it under and the other knee up. We then just have them rest their arm up on their knee and grab their um, wrist right here, or we have them just grab their legs right here. Another sitting idea would be crisscross applesauce, just like this, so they could have their hand in their hair, or they could be kind of shrugged up like this. Sometimes we have them move around a little bit to give them a little bit more movement, or we just have them for maybe a more edgy look, they come down like this. All right, so then another variation of poses would be to have them lay on their belly. So they'll lay on their belly. We always tell them to cross at their ankles and then move it from one side to the other so it doesn't look like their feet are coming right out of <laughs> their head. Um, so one of the things that they can do is they can play with their hair while they're here. They can look up to open up their eyes a little bit. They can look away, let out a giggle. If they have a low cut shirt on, sometimes this doesn't work very well. So we have them grab the opposite side of their hair to cover that up a little bit um, and make it a look a little bit more natural than I'm making it look right now. <laughs> let us know by writing a comment, which one was your favorite pose that you've never even thought of doing that you're gonna try next session. So now that we showed you all of these different poses that you can implement at your senior session, we have a download just for you all about senior posing, some more tips and tricks with that, and a planning worksheet. So make sure to check it out. If you like this video, make sure to like, hit subscribe, and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us on our Instagram page at esquared.photography for more videos. We, po we post a lot of bonus videos there, so make sure to check us out, and we will see you next time.